I on? What's going on, everyone? What's going on? I'm jumping on right now because uh, we might be getting a little bit of price action here for Bitcoin as we start the stream, guys. So uh, as you guys can see here, guys, on the weekly, uh, sorry, not on the weekly, on the hourly time frame, we might be getting close to a breakout of some type of inverse head and shoulders. Let's freaking go. If this breaks to the upside, we could have a little bit of room to run up. You guys had a fantastic weekend, man. Had a pretty good, <clears throat> excuse me, had a pretty good weekend myself. Um, pretty good weekend myself. I can't lie. Bitcoin's pumping right now. So um, <laughs> we're going to see what happens here. Uh, right before the weekly close, man, it looks like we're going to get the highest weekly close of all time as well, guys. The highest weekly close of all time. Um, let's see what happens, right? Let's see what happens. If this trend line right here can break, though, if this trend line can break, I'll show you guys the target in a second. Just let me take a sip of water. I have a little bit of fl a frog in my throat, bro. You guys ever like talk? Um, because it's like the first time you talked in like an hour. Maybe not an hour, but a little bit longer and you have some type of frog in your throat. Yeah, that just happened to me. All right. Um, possible upside target of this. If we were to take the measured move and put this to the upside. Um, it, I mean, this is sort of... Uh, measured move would be up, up back towards up a 60,150 or so, right? That would be the measured move. If we were to get uh, to get that measure move back up to the upside, but you guys can clearly see, right? Clearly see um, the left shoulder, right? The head and the right shoulder um, that could possibly break out if we get that breakout. So let's see what happens. We got 17 minutes for the hourly close um, and also 17 minutes for the weekly close, right? So let's see what happens, guys. Let's see what happens. Obviously, the thing we're worried about today all right, once again, is that weekly close? Can we get a close above the previous weekly all-time high wick from back in April? That's sort of what we've been talking about this week. That's the level I'm watching for. Right now, we're slightly above it, right? We're just slightly above that. Um, that's sitting at about 64,800. We're sitting at 65,000 right now. So it's going to be an interesting one. And I want everyone to get their swords, get their shields, Okay, get the swords, get the shields out right now. Get get the swords, get the shields. I'm gonna play the war horn right now. Let's go. Holy crap, that's loud, bro. <laughs> Holy crap, that's loud. Get your swords, get your shields. We're going to war for the next 17 minutes. If you guys are new to the stream and you don't know what this means, type swords in the chat. Type the sword emojis in the chat right now because we are going to break. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna close the weekly above this. Also, got the highest weekly close of all time, and the bulls will take back our land, which is the inverse head and shoulders breakout for Bitcoin. So everyone, grab your swords, grab your shields, and maybe grab a bag of Cheetos. You know, just for a snack on the way. You know, you might you might need a snack during war. Put put it in your armor, and we will take this land back. From the bears. <laughs> Let's go. 64,969. Let's freaking get it, guys. Let's freaking get it. Uh, this is on the two-hour chart, by the way. This is on the two-hour chart. Which, uh, I'm pretty sure the two-hour close is coming up as well. Um, two-hour close is coming up as well. Um, so that's what we're really watching for there. Uh, Four-hour, not looking too shabby. Not looking too shabby right now. And the daily, like we've got to been saying the daily, I put this on Twitter today, guys. It's still looking like, if you look at the daily chart real quick, it's still looking like a nice back test of our previous resistance and that looking into flipping a support and get some upwards price action. Now, obviously, we need to get that confirmation and the continuation of price action to the upside, but you can see they're just a clear back test and us trying to get some upwards momentum now, right? So that's what we're watching for. Can we get the juice, as we would call it, right? Can we get the giant pickle to the upside here and break up higher, right? That's the question. That is the question right now. We're going we're gonna to keep an eye on Bitcoin here uh, for the, the next 10 minutes or so and see what kind of goes on here on the... On the uh, I have this on the two-hour chart. You can look at it on the hourly, but it's a little more, uh, little more sexy, as you would say, on the two-hour chart. Um, big words, slow down. <laughs> Let's see what you guys saying in here. What's up, Jordan? Your wife is behaving today. She is behaving today. She wasn't very happy yesterday because um, I went out without her. 
She was very, very upset. Uh, very, very upset. So that's why she wasn't really behaving yesterday. Ethereum was being a little crabby yesterday, guys, as we know. So uh, if Bitcoin could break out, maybe Ethereum breaks out as well. As we know, that's typically the order of our operations here. Um, what else do we got here? What else do we got? What I like here on the four hour, guys, is us getting back over the four hour 20 EMA and hopefully getting some juice to, to get a little higher here. But it's looking like we're going to get that four hour close above the 24, the 24 hour EMA, which is huge, right? It's huge. It's, it's a level we always want to be above in a short term uptrend. So that's kind of the first step there, uh, getting that four hour close, which also should be coming up in the next 13 minutes. So a lot of different things we're fighting for right now. A lot of different things we are fighting for at the moment. Um, the Giordano Inu, the Giordano Inu Fractal. We'll take a look at this in a second. I, I, uh, we'll take a look at that now. Uh, Giordano Inu Fractal. Uh, I still think I still think we're going to get this parabolic move to the upside here, guys, at some point. It's just a matter of time, in my opinion. In my opinion, it is just a matter of time. If you guys think we're going to get that move to the upside, raise your hand in the chat right now. Raise your hand in the chat right now if you guys think that we're going to get a move to the upside here within the next two weeks or so, right? Within the next two weeks. I'll, 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 I'll broaden the horizons here. If you think we're going to get a parabolic move to the upside like this in the next two weeks, raise your hand in the chat. If you don't, uh, give me a thumbs down. A thumbs down in the chat if you don't think that we're going to get a move to the upside like that. I think we will. I'm still confident that we will get the move to the upside like that. Um, but obviously, it's a waiting game, right? All right, here comes Bitcoin. Here comes Bitcoin, one of my favorite sayings. Come on, BTC. Get that move to the upside, baby. Get it. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Sixty-five, one fifty. Uh, trying to get some upward movement here. Uh, we're gonna, we're probably gonna get a little bit of resistance at this high from back here, uh, from earlier today. But let's see, let's see if we can get any upwards movement, man. Let's see if we can get any upwards movement. Come on, BTC, don't stall out on us, brother. Don't stall out on us, brother. Uh, ten minutes until the close. Ten minutes until the close, guys. Uh, actually, ten minutes and forty seconds. If you guys can't see, it's in the top right corner over there. Um, yeah, someone said that the bear, we're looking bearish on the weekly. We're looking bearish. Look at how bearish we look on the weekly. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. We are bearish. The highest weekly close of all time. It's all about, it's all about confirmed at this, at the, I mean, at this time, right? The highest, once again, guys, I mean, we're talking for the second week in a row, the highest weekly close of all time for Bitcoin. That is no joke. Making history again, right? For all, all this talk of this bearish week, um, once again, making the highest weekly close of all time, right? That is no joke. That is no freaking joke, all right? And well, we're doing it pretty convincingly. A pretty convincing uh, 2,000 candle week, right? It's not, it's not too shabby. That is not too shabby whatsoever for a bearish, a bearish week as you would call it, right? I don't even know what a bullish week would look at this point. If we're going to call that bearish, well, I guess we could, we could, might as well just call everything bearish at this point, man. You might as well just do it. Um, Let's see where we get some resistance at. Maybe this trend line coming down. We'll watch this. Maybe get some resistance on this. Let's see if Bitcoin can break this trend line. Um, We'll, we'll move our, our lines like savvy a little bit. We'll move them like savvy just a little bit. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Savvy says it's just a lower high. <laughs> What's a lower high? We got a higher high. What kind of crap is that? What kind of crap is that? We literally had a higher high. We had a higher high and a dip. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is kind of the last trend line in the sand here. This is the last trend line in the sand. 
for Bitcoin. I mean, you can't even draw another trend line. So, I mean, if this breaks, I think we're off to the races. But um, let's watch this trend line here. It's just connecting the two the two higher most wicks in the trend. Um, if that breaks, I mean, it's, it's all about confirmed that we're breaking out. Um, there it is. There it is. There it is. Let's go. 65, 276. It looks like we uh, we have smashed it. Let's see if we can hold it now. Let's see if we can hold it for more than five seconds, all right? <laughs> I'll, I always like to wait for more than five seconds to see if we hold it. Uh, 65, 300. Here we go, here we go. We're getting some upwards price action, guys. Let's get those swords and shields in the chat. It's been working. Let's get those swords and shields in the chat, boys. Um, 65, there it is, there it is. We're gone. Oh, wait, wait. We came back down a little bit. Come on, BTC. Come on, boy. <laughs> 65. Um, Savvy hates Moon Boys. Savvy hates Moon Boys because his channel's for bears. His channel is only for bears, guys. That, 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 that's the, that's, his channel is revolves around being a bear. Um, so if anyone's not a bear, then he doesn't like them. Symbol's that. Um... Yeah, four hours looking juicy here. Seven minutes until the close. Um, come on, Bitcoin. Get a little bit more upwards juice here, man. What's the RSI look like here in the two hour? Plenty of room to run here in the two hour. Four hours looking just just juicy. Daily's looking good now. Um, clipping these 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 red candles down here. Awesome. Eh, the daily was just a perfect setup, guys. I mean, we're not obviously we're not in the woods yet, right? We're like we always like to say, we're back in the woods, right? So what we mean by in the woods for everyone that's new is we what before we broke all time highs, we were in the woods, right? We were slowly making our way out of the woods. Well, we came back into the woods, right? I think we forgot our lunchbox, right? We forgot our lunchbox in the woods. We had to come back in, grab our lunchbox, and now we reclaimed our lunchbox. Um, which was the 20 day EMA, right? Th th that's where our lunchbox was. We back tested the lunchbox, grabbed it, ate our applesauce for, for a couple days. And now we are trying to get back up higher after eating our applesauce back in the woods. Now let's see if we can get back out of the woods now, or we'll see if we get eaten by the bears. Let's see what happens, man. There's no volume either. Yeah, guys, there's no volume. There's absolutely no volume. Um, Mike, what are you doing? But Mike, they, they don't, they don't need you to say it, bro. They don't need you. Okay. 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 Mike, 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 Mike. I'm blurring. There's no volume. I'll say it again. There's no volume. Bitcoin's going to 10 K. There's no volume. Bearish divergence. There's bearish divergence. There's no volume. <laughs> All right, Mike had to come on and tell you that there's no volume still, guys. There is. There's no volume. There's been no volume since 29k, but we keep going up. Uh, here we go. 65, 350. Uh, <laughs> mutant killer. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, that's Mike. That's Mike. That's Mike the no volume. It's Mike. It's Mr. No volume. His name's Mike. Um, all right. He's pumping. We're pumping again. <laughs> Someone said, "Is how big is Mike's brain? Uh, pretty small, because he thinks volume matters in in, in in the in the grand scheme of things in crypto, which it really doesn't. It really doesn't. 
Um, 65, 450. We're coming up, guys. We're coming up. We said our breakout target is all the way back up here at 68,300. Um, that's the target. It's not going to happen right away. Where right? Uh, I don't know where volume is, man. I don't know where volume is. Highest we can close of all time is indeed about to happen. The four hours looking juicy. Look at the four hour. This is looking juicy. Holy moly. Can we get back above our high back here from November 11th? That is the key. If we can get back above that, oh, we're looking juicy. We're looking juicy from here on out. Look at that four hour girthy candle. That thing is girthy. Daily's looking girthy. Look, look at the daily. The daily's looking nice and girthy. And then the weekly. Once again, highest daily close of all time, or highest weekly close of all time, closing finally above that candle wick from April 12th, or the week of April 12th this year. Finally getting close above that, which it looks like, as long as we close, uh, because we don't have a big dump in the next three minutes, which I don't believe is going to happen here, but we obviously got to wait for confirmation. Um, I mean, we're looking good. We're looking really good right now. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed, boys. Nothing has changed. So bearish. Uh, 200, 236 likes. Guys, let's get those likes for 500 people. For uh, 500 people. Let's get those likes to 500 uh, right now. Right? Right now. Uh, to get some more peeps in here. As we watch Bitcoin pump up. Uh, 65, 460. Uh, why are we getting resistance here? Uh, a couple peaks. You have a couple peaks to your looking left. Uh, but I don't think that's anything crazy. Um, let's see. Oh, by the way, guys, the stock market's uh, crashing. I just, I just wanted to let everyone know that the stock market is indeed crashing. It indeed did not have a bullish engulfing candle on the daily, uh, girthy one too. Just want to say that the stock market is continuing to crash. But obviously just wanted to state that now before I get too heated later. Because <laughs> you know I will. You know I will, man. You know I will. Uh, Bitcoin dominance, guys. Real quick, the Bitcoin dominance looks like it wants to. Um, I, I like this higher low here. The Bitcoin dominance, I, I think, is getting ready to move up again. I, I, I just ha I have that feeling. I, I like the structure of this, um, where it's not quite a W because you haven't confirmed you haven't confirmed the breakout yet. But I'm liking this with a higher low. Um, if you can get back above, obviously, which you, you haven't done it yet, and you got ways to go. But if you can get back above. Um, 4461 on the dominance, guys. I mean, we, we could be uh, the Bitcoin dominance could be could be ready to go again, which would mean that Bitcoin goes up higher. Um, in, in my opinion, so let's see what happens with that. But I also want, I just want to quickly touch on the Bitcoin dominance and the S and P. Ariana Grande fud is real, man. The Ariana Grande fud. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely real, definitely, definitely real. Um. But, you know, you can't prepare for those things. I think it's more risky to not have investments than, than it is to... I think it's risky right, more right now to not own crypto than to own it, um, in my personal opinion. Some people might disagree, but uh, I think most people in this chat can agree. What do you guys think? Is it more risky to not own crypto or to own crypto? What do you guys think in the chat? Let me know in the chat. I, I think I think it's clearly more risky not to. All right, there's a weekly close, guys. Sixty-five, seven, eighteen. Bust it, bust it. Is you bust it, bust it, bust it. <laughs> we'll get we'll get Bob out here later. Sixty-five, seven, sixty-three. Uh, our weekly close. Uh, four hour, dude. The four hours killing it. The four hours looking juicy. Daily continuation. Uh, look at the weekly, man. We closed. Uh, we did it. Highest weekly close of all time, guys. Strap up. We're going to the moon. It's the highest week close of all time. Um, that is exciting stuff. We're once again making history, man. 
Um, once again, we're making history where, yeah, intra-week you have volatility, but it seems like the weeks just continue to get higher and higher and higher, though we keep getting volatility in between the weeks. It's more about the closes, and every week we seem to close higher. And if we don't, it tends to be a little, little red week, right? So uh, let's see what happens next. Let's see what happens next, but we're at 65,769. Two hour has plenty of room to run up. Uh, hourly still has room to run up actually. Um, so let's see what Bitcoin does. Let's see what it does, man. So we have officially broken this high right here, which is big, right? We officially broke that. Let's see now if we can get any continuation back up to the upside here, any continuation. If we can, well, we're golden, man. I mean, there's not much. This shouldn't be much in theory. Get a little bit of a resistance here. I don't know if that's really going to keep you down. I think the next the next logical resistance um, is probably at about 66,190. Um, if you can break the current level you're at now. So, man, Bitcoin's looking good. Huge daily cup and handle. 70K incoming. Hey, 70K could be coming, man. 70K could be coming. There it is. There it is. Let's go. 65,900. Gold Dragon became a member. What's going on, Gold Dragon? Hope you're doing good, man. One of my homies in there. Uh, Pataka's Finest says, Crow has been on a rip today. I saw it, man. I, I promise you, I'm not salty about Crow. I'm not. I'm very, very happy for everyone that did Crow. Um, let's Crow, and this is my new Crow 01K. Love the stream, man. You kick ass as always. Stay gold, pony boy. Jake. Thank you, Pataka, man. I I'm just going to call you Pataka because I... You're always in here, dude. Appreciate the kind words. We'll look at Crow in a little bit. Crow Crow has been killing it. It's been one of the top gainers ever since I sold it. So you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. I'll 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 take the the um I'll take the credit the blame for me, the credit for you, um, for why Crow has gone to the upside. But Crow's been looking juicy, man. I will say that. Uh, Steven said, best, best, best crypto community ever. Became a member today to get members only tips and tricks every Saturday. Cheers, Jordan. Here's to many more. Thank you, Steven. Appreciate the kind words, man. Uh, Steve, Steve is always here too, dude. Drew, I mean, all my homies are in. Drew is in here. When moon, where volume? I don't know what the volume is, man. The volume's lost, as, as Bob would say, guys. The volume is lost. He's, I mean, uh, Bob still doesn't know where the volume is. He still doesn't know at this point. You know what I mean? Oh no. Oh no. Guys. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 I was finally rich. I was finally rich! I could have finally moved out of this freaking place! I hate this house! I hate this house! I was finally rich! I got liquidated on my short! Why do I keep shorting Bitcoin? Why do I keep shorting Bitcoin? I'm such an idiot! Savvy! Savvy! I'm gonna find you. We're savvy. We're savvy. This is all his fault. This is all Savvy's fault. Him and his Elliot waves. No. <laughs> Let's jump into the Bitcoin shop. All right. Uh, Sixty-five, nine hundred. Still, still, still showed us 65,900. Uh, job is pissed. Job is pissed right now. <laughs> he literally pissed. Um, 
All right, so we're looking pretty good here, guys, at the moment, obviously. I don't even have to tell you that. Um, obviously, we're not out of the woods yet, right? Like we always like to say, guys, we're not out of the woods yet. So just keep that in mind. I'm actually going to draw a Fibonacci here from swing high to swing low. And yeah, we actually broke the 0.5 Fib. So in theory here, you know, the next Fib level is up here at 66,400, right? And th that's our 0.618 retracement level. So that could be the next level we go up to. We'll, we'll keep a uh, an eye on that. But um, we broke the 0.5, the 0.618, like we said, 66,400 could be that next level there on uh, according to the Fibonacci level. So um, definitely, definitely interesting. Bitcoin's going up again. <laughs> All right, 66K, 66K. Well, we got over 66K for a second, and now we came back down. Um, let's check out the Giordano Inu. Is the Giordano Inu fractal prophecy <laughs> going to come true? Is the Giordano Inu fractal prophecy going to come true? Um, I don't know where we're at. Like, I don't know if we're right here or we're right here, but <laughs> will the Giordano Inu fractal prophecy play out and us to get a big pump? um wherever we go to i don't know where we're gonna go to but um we'll we'll, we'll play up we'll play up let's see all right so 60 65 857 let's see what happens here got a, a uh initial rejection off 66 000, but looks like it's making its way back up um let's see what happens let's go check out ethereum real quick guys while i have you while i have you guys here obviously you guys aren't going anywhere <laughs> i don't know why i said while well, i have you guys here that doesn't really make any sense. Um, what's ETH doing? Is, is ETH, should we be worried about ETH, right? Should we be worried about ETH? Um, no. Uh, you guys, why would you be worried about ETH, right? There's no reason to be worried about ETH. In my opinion, I like, you might, you might be breaking out for ETH right now too. You might be breaking out for ETH right now too. One resistance, two, three. And that might be the breakout there for ETH too. And ETH, Excuse me, man. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know why uh, that, that's happening to me right now. But yeah, could this have been a wedge? Was this a little bit of a wedgy slash triangle? Either way, either way. Could ETH get be getting a breakout right now? Definitely, definitely could be as well. Um, check out the one hour. Yeah, the one hour... One hour, I mean, you could still have this this upwards target up here. So we'll keep it up here. But yeah, I mean, we'll keep this up here for now. But ETH, ETH is ripping on the one hour. Definitely, definitely ripping on the one hour. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep this here for this downtrend and resistance for Ethereum. But if this breaks, obviously, the target would be back up of um, 48,000. Or sorry, 4,865. All right, Bitcoin's back above 66. <laughs> All right, 66,059, bro. Oh, uh, man. Mike says, <laughs> I'm talking to you guys like I'm the boss and you guys are the employees. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Kind of, a little bit. Uh, 6662. Uh, ETH is pushing 4663. Looking juicy. Looking juicy, juicy, juicy. Um, Man. The four, the four hour chart is looking really good, man. Um, daily is looking even juicier and we're not out of the woods yet, but, um, you know, 
what, what were we saying yesterday, guys? If I, I said if I had to put my money on it, I would say that Bitcoin already hit its bottom for this dip, you know? And um, a lot, I mean, like I said, we're not out of the woods yet. We easily could go lower again, right? I always want to state that. But, 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 things are looking good right now. Um, you know, everyone was calling for 52,000, 53,000, 54,000, 55,000, 56,000, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. Nope. Nope. What did Bitcoin, what is Bitcoin trying to say right now? Nope. 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 Uh, nope. So we'll leave it at that. Nope. Uh, Bitcoin does what it wants, when it wants, how it wants, with who it wants, why it wants, where it wants. Rant alert. Um, and every time people are calling for lower prices, Bitcoin usually doesn't go lower. Bitcoin usually doesn't go lower. All right. Which is crazy. Which is absolutely crazy. I knew it would pump even when Jordan was calling for lower. <laughs> I think I was calling for like 60. I was calling it possibly to go to 60,000. But um, yeah, I mean, that, 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 that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, I think everyone's given up on plan B. Guys, if you haven't given up on plan B's prediction yet, let me know in the chat. I think most people have given up on plan B's prediction. Uh, like I said, I mean, it's, it is a little bit ridiculous at this point. I mean, we'd have to go up to 97,000 by the end of November. We'd have to go up something like this, uh, approximately that, I mean, that, it's that seems a little bit unlikely though if you actually take the slope it's actually i mean it's it's even more slopey than it was there um we've gone up in that fashion before but it seems a little bit unlikely i'm not gonna say it's impossible bitcoin bitcoin can do what it wants to do but um seems a little bit unlikely for that to happen in my opinion plan b still going plan b the man you guys are all saying plan B. Hey, I think it could still happen for sure. But, you know, we got to start moving quick. We got to start moving quick if we want it to happen. Plan B needs a plan B. What happened to plan A? That's what I said. I always said that. I was like, dude, why is this name plan B? And why is this name not plan A? Like, what happened to plan A? Did plan A just go down the drain? And he said, hey, oh, I, I, I'm going to be plan B. I'm going to be plan B instead. And uh, that's the way the cookie is going to crumble. I don't know. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I think it's. I think it. Plan B stands for Plan Bitcoin. I, I think. I think it's Plan Bitcoin. Interesting. Interesting uh, name, though. You know. When you get it. When you get a chance, Ada's got you stressed out. Ada's got everyone. <laughs> I mean, Ada shouldn't have you stressed out. Ada's like the most, the least non-stressful coin. It does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. It's a, a literally. We got to change this to. That's an exit on stable coin. And two, that's a Cardano stablecoin at this point, dude, because that, that I mean, that, that that's the way Cardano was bent. But we'll definitely check it out. But Tuckett's Finest became a member. JH became a member. Holy crap, man. You guys are nuts. You guys are absolutely nuts. I said this the other day. I think on Saturday, we had, I think, 20 new members uh, Twenty new members during, during the Saturday stream, which is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. I still can't believe that, by the way. I had a really good weekend. I, uh, I did miss you guys last night, but I had a really good weekend. I uh, hope you guys did too. It was a nice little refreshing. It was a nice refreshing night off slash day off today. Um, really refreshing. So I, I'm glad. I'm glad I did it, and um, I'm happy we had price action today. I mean, if, if we streamed last night, literally nothing happened. So, uh, it, it, I mean, we would have been sitting here watching a crab fest anyway. So it actually kind of worked out. It actually kind of worked out. All right, Bitcoin back up sixty six thousand. Let's see what happens here. ETH is sitting at fifty six fifty eight. So now it's really going on ETH. Uh, ADA. ADA's actually, actually ADA. ADA just broke out, man. ADA just broke out. Now I don't know if it's going to get any huge pump. It definitely could. It definitely could with Bitcoin. But uh, I was looking at this sort of as a descending triangle here. And it looks like you just broke up from that. 
which would give you a target back up of 217. So nothing crazy, but it looks like Cardano is pumping up, which is awesome to see. Awesome to see. Let, let's see if we can get any juice to the upside or it's just going to remain the stable coin of all stable coins. Uh, that is the question. That is the question. Uh, 66.40 right now for Bitcoin. 66.40. Broke out to 221. Facts. A Bitcoin pump. Uh, Someday pumps, Phil. Uh... Let's see. Plan B has has until the end of the month to be proven right. Exactly. Exactly. He's got he's got he's got over two weeks. Until the end of the month to be proven right. He's got over two weeks still. So let's see. Let's see. We like we said we've seen crazy Bitcoin moves in the past before, guys. I mean it's not terribly unrealistic, especially at the end of a potential bull run. Like like we've always said, and it's been said by a million people. The biggest gains typically in a bull run, it's not going to play out exactly the same, but the biggest gains typically in a bull run happen in the last couple weeks, right? So, you know, does the last two weeks of November into into December look really, really bullish? You know, do we not look bullish because we go into next year, right? I, I still think that it's possible that this cycle goes into next year. I, I still think it's, it's actually likely that this cycle goes into next year. I do. Um, so... A bunch of different uh, scenarios that could be playing out here. Um, all right. Come on, BTC. Sitting at 66,000 right now. It could be in a worse spot, but we're in a bear market, guys. Nothing has changed. Um, says the uh, Bank of Canada guy, too. Basically, Bitcoin is clearly a scam. Cryptocurrency <laughs> is clearly an idiot with no common sense. And scientifically speaking, according to a study at the Bank of Canada, more people who are fina financially illiterate invest in Bitcoin. Wow. Alt season around the corner. Um, <laughs> HODL. HODL, go dragon. HODL, go dragon. All right. Let's see. Crow to 45, called it. Elite, you did call Crow. You did call Crow, my man. You definitely did. Crow has been killing it, dude. Look at Crow, bro. Look at Crow. Crow, 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 45 cents. Tell you right now, I'm not salty. I may look it. I may look it, but I'll tell you right now, I ain't salty. I ain't salty at all. <laughs> crow on the weekly is scary. Uh, holy majoli. Well, this, this is the Coinbase chart, but yeah, weekly looks really good. Coinbase chart doesn't tell you as much, but uh, daily looks juicy. Next target we have for Crow is the 1.618, which lays at approximately about 48.4 cents. 48.4 cents would be the target there for Crow in that scenario. Four hours room to run. Crow's looking good, man. Uh, Crow, you got, you got a, you got a, it's, it's, I mean, it's a nice cup and handle breakout, man. It's a cup and handle breakout. Target of 48.4 cents at the 1.618. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful for Crow. Everything is everything is following Bitcoin facts. Facts. Um, things are looking good right now. Uh, let's go back to Bitcoin. 66 one. Here comes Bitcoin. <laughs> I think that's my favorite saying. Here comes Bitcoin. It's always a good day when you hear me saying, here comes Bitcoin, guys. Here comes Bitcoin. Here comes Bitcoin. Uh man. What's up, Black Swan? To the moon, said Jerome. Facts, man. Uh, total market caps pumping. Yeah, total market cap. Holy majoli.
Uh, total market cap just broke out of this symmetrical triangle um, to the upside. Targets back above its previous high to uh, 2.98 trillion. So let's see if that plays out. Nice little breakout there for total market cap as well. Um, that is looking juicy. <laughs> Everything's looking juicy right now. Everything is like, I keep saying everything looks juicy, guys, because everything is looking juicy. Everything's looking juicy. Um, all right, here comes Bitcoin. <laughs> I always got to say it. You guys, you guys know I always have to say it. Boom. watch this resistance guys if everyone get your swords and shields <clears throat> get your swords and shields out right now we are smashing this resistance from the bears get your swords <sighs> yes yeah, sir dude sundays are bearish guys sundays are so bearish sundays are always bearish don't we know <laughs> i feel like every sunday we pumped lately Every Sunday before the weekly close, we pump. And then after. Uh, Sundays are always bearish, guys. Red Sundays, red Sundays, run Sundays. Such a such a fake narrative that, that's that's just been parroted around. It's just not true. <sighs> We're fighting this resistance right now. Um, yeah, it looks like we got an initial rejection there. Why did we get a rejection there? Uh, a couple previous peaks from over here in uh remember eighth so we got initial initial rejection there let's see if we can get smashed above that man let's see uh i'm done fighting though <laughs> i did my work i just i just took out three bears Sa savvy i just took out savvy market makers and um and kirby so you guys can take out the rest of the bears i did my part i just slayed savvy i just slayed market makers and i just slayed crypto kirby right there's only one thing you can hear from the grave for Crypto Kirby. Warning shots fired. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 6687. We're doing good. We're doing good. Doing good, boy. Uh, keep hitting up those likes, guys. I don't know where we're at with likes. Let's keep smashing those likes. Let's keep doing it. Let's get up to approximately, approximately, let's, let's smash a thousand. Let's smash a thousand right now. Um, we just tapped the top of the ascending uh, channel. The ascending channel. Let's see. Ascending channel. I'm going to assume that you mean something like this. We're going to party. Nay, nay, nay. Something like that. I don't know if that's actually going to play out. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. Crypto Kirby. We need Pac-Man Jordan to buy up this pump. <laughs> we need a whale. That's what we need. We need Pac-Man Jordan. <laughs> All right, let's do Pac-Man Jordan. Um, actually, I think Bob's pretty hungry right now. Bob, are you hungry, bro? You want some meatloaf? You want some meatloaf? Someone say meatloaf? Someone say meatloaf. Mmm, <laughs> mom, this is great. Thank you so much for the homemade meatloaf. <laughs> All right. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I really can't do that, guys. I can do that for like five seconds. <laughs> I started to creep myself out when I'm doing that. Holy crap. Um, gave the signal. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Bob's eating his meatloaf. He's buying the dip. Bob is buying the dip, man. That's what's going down. <laughs> Where's the ketchup? <laughs> oh, man, bro. All right. 
What else have we got going on? What else we got? Look at total two. Total two is looking fine. Red candles equals bearish. Green candles equals double bearish. Interesting. Interesting. Um, can't say I know what that means, but I'm going to say interesting, man. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Meatloaf, not beef. Not <laughs> beatloaf. <laughs> That's so wrong, man. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know what that means, dude. What else is doing well right now? Uh, looks like Link. Link the Slink. I think Link the Slink. Check Link the Slink. Yeah, I mean, Link, Link the Slink's gone too. Let's see if it can get any continuation up, but Link, Link the Slink looks good. Bob loves pickle meatloaf. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Uh, looks like Chain Link might have broken out of some type of wedge to the upside. So Chain Link's target will be back up at 38 bucks. Extend what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin's getting a little bit of a pullback. I don't think it's going to last too long, though. No, I don't. I don't. I think it's going to be a quick little down and a quick little back up. You know how Bitcoin does it. You know how Bitcoin does it, man. Dot is doing well. Uh, yeah, Link's doing well. Link, Link, potential target will be back up to the highs. Uh, Dot. Dot's doing well. Yup. Dot is doing well. Let's see. Dot, I think you're still... Still under resistance technically, but you're right at it. You're right at it for Polkadot, man. You're literally right at it right now. So let's see what Polkadot does. Um, the other thing is VeChain. VeChain just broke its previous high. Actually, it's right at it. Right at its previous high on the wick on the four hour. You get back above that, it's probably going to 16.9. That doesn't look too shabby. ETH. ETH. Come on, ETH. Break this out, bro. If ETH breaks this out, I'll pass out tonight. Deal? Guys, who wants to see me pass out in the chat? If ETH breaks out of this this little yes, flag slash wedgie formation, I will pass out on stream. We at the top, said Nagy. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. XRP broke out finally. What's XRP up to? Where's XRP? Uh, XRP is still in this. Actually, yeah. XRP is breaking out right now. It just broke these previous highs on the four hour. XRP is looking juicy. Here you go, XRP. Here you go, man. Just for you guys. Lupus, what's going on? Hope you know well. Um, yeah, XRP just broke that four hour resistance. Let's go to the daily on XRP. The daily, let's see, what we got here in the daily. The daily does not have much. Previous wick up here, 123. Could we go up to 123 here? Potentially. There's not much there in the daily. Really not much. Come on, BTC. Come on, baby. Hey, yeah, peeps. Uh, let's see. Sonny said, King Jordan, what's up, cuz? 70K when we wake up. 75K Wednesday and 83K by end of week. November last week, 88, 94, 98K close. Here we come. Doing my part. Buy Bitcoin. Sonny, thank you, man. Thank you. Um, 70K when we wake up, 75K by Wednesday, and 83K by end of week. Hey, I will not complain, brother. I, I, I will not complain. You know, just for you, bro. Strap up. We're going to the moon. You know, I, I, I don't think anyone complain about that, man. That is a hefty prediction. If that comes true, I will call you Plan C. <laughs> okay? I will call you Plan C, Sonny, if that comes through. That's a crazy prediction, man. 
Uh, all right, ETH. Is ETH breaking out right now, guys? Uh, ah, so close, so close. 46.87 for ETH, man. 46.87 for ETH. Let's see, bro. We're, we're so close. So, 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 so close for ETH. Um, I, I really, I'm not going to play the pump song for ETH until we actually break out. But you are right there. You're right there, man. 759 likes for 759 likes already and we're only 730 bro i'm gonna pass out <laughs> i'm gonna pass out because of that appreciate the support guys that's awesome man if you guys are new to the stream make sure you guys subscribe we, we're here every single night 7 to 10 um sometimes a little bit earlier bitcoin's pumping early like today we came on a little bit early because bitcoin was pumping but um appreciate all the new faces man a lot of new faces in here lately and it's crazy it's absolutely crazy 48 uh 88 Come on, ETH. Do it for us, baby. Do it for us, baby. Um, we might need... We might need... No, care. No, mom, mom. Ugh. Who's my son calling baby? Who's my son calling baby? The only baby I'm his own. He's my baby. He's no one else's baby in here, Okay. Stop hitting on my son. Stop hitting on my son. Okay? He's not old enough to be hit on. Seriously. Whoever he's calling baby, back off my son. Okay? Or you're going to have to mess with Karen. You want to mess with Karen? Keep hitting on my son. Keep hitting on my son. We'll see what happens, bro. We'll see what happens, bro. Don't hit on my son. Don't hit on my son. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's fist. Um, 4693. Don't be hitting on me, guys. Uh, Karen, Karen will come out of nowhere. All right. We just got an initial rejection there for ETH. Initial rejection right at that trend line. Let's see uh, if, if ETH can do anything else here. Come on, ETH. Coronado's pumping. Everything's pumping right now, man. <laughs> I have to be honest. Uh, Ada. Ada, Ada, Ada. Yeah, Ada's at the same price it was earlier. But yeah, Ada, Ada broke out of this, uh, this downtrend of resistance. Broke that. It's going up. Mana's going down. Yeah, I mean, Mana, Mana's been... Man has been crushing it, so I'm not surprised. Shib's also going down. <laughs> Shib's going down, down. It's going down, down. Guys like Jordan, please don't start singing. Please don't start singing, bro. Uh, Pelagic said, check out RNDR. I got you, brother. What's RNDR doing? Let me actually use this chart here. Uh, RNDR. Render. Render token. Uh, what are we doing? Let's go to the four hour. You just had a pretty nice pump to the upside. Uh, let's actually stick to the daily. Uh, I mean, the daily looks incredible on this thing, man. The daily looks incredible. You, you pumped up more yesterday than you did today, but the daily looks awesome on this. Now, now you're at a 94 on the RSI, right? So <laughs> you're, 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 got, you're probably going to get a pullback here sometime soon. Uh, you also have bearish severance on the four hour. So if you were to have a pullback this is the area where you would have it this is definitely the area where you would have some type of pullback if you were to have it right and you probably will you probably will so let's actually just take maybe some of our fib levels and look at what makes the most sense here um man i don't think you pull back that much okay, the first area is the 236 at 4 348 and then 298 that's probably all you would need just to reset some of these some of this daily RSI. If you go lower, this 0.5 fib is at right, actually right at the previous highs. So if render was to pull back, you're probably gonna pull back a little bit, right? You'll probably pull back a little bit at this point. Um, let's see. So yeah, higher highs on the uh, price action, lower highs on the RSI. Eh, you're probably you're probably gonna see a slight pullback there for render, but that thing's been killing it, bro. That thing's been absolutely killing it. AVAX is on fire as well. I see $300 soon for AVAX. Oh yeah, AVAX. 
AVAX. What's AVAX up to? I, I gotta put AVAX on my side. I keep saying I gotta put AVAX on my side screen, but I don't. Um, yeah, AVAX. Yeah, I mean, just a back test. Back test of the previous highs, right? One, two highs right there. Came back down, flipped those as support, and now you're continuing up. I mean, it's quite beautiful if you ask me, as I would say. Quite beautiful if you ask me. One hour. One hour looks like a little bit of a... It depends, how, depends what you're looking at this as, but it looks like a little bit of a wedge broke out in the one hour. So I think I see a move up to at least back up to 90, you know, close to 100 bucks, your previous high, right? That's what I see there. Uh, ETH. Come on, ETH. You're right there, man. Just do it. Just do it, ETH. We know you want to do it. We know you want to do it, man. <clears throat> Come on, ETH. 46.88. Um, let's see. V-Chain. 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 It's just still trying to smash this previous high. Right? Um, it's right at it. Slightly above it. But let's see if you can get any momentum above that previous high from actually yesterday. This is the one hour. But uh, that's what you want to watch there first for V-Chain. You break that, I mean, you're probably going up to, yeah, you're probably going up to 16.8, which isn't a huge move, but about where you're at. ETC, ETC is not really moving. It's not like oh, not less than a, less than a percent. I guess so is Bitcoin. I guess ETH 46.91 on ETH. 46.91 on ETH, baby. Let's get it, boys. Let's. Get it. I want to play the pump song for ETH so bad. Uh, so bad. So bad right now. So, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> Matic is one of my big bags that I'm bored. Uh, don't worry about Matic. Dude, Matic. Matic was... If you go back in time, my Matic a couple weeks ago was killing it, man. And it's, it, it's been consolidating since then. I, I understand. It's kind of annoying. It's like... Dude, you were killing it before. Why are you slowing down now? Why are you all of a sudden slowing down, Matic? Uh, it, it, it had a pretty big run up pretty quick, right? So, you know, anything besides soul, <laughs> soul just because it has no soul and it just continues up like a, like a madman. But um, Matic, I think Matic's just getting ready for a move as well. It's um, kind of the way the cookie crumbles all the time. Mm -hmm. I think it's just going to get ready and stuff that bull flag to continue up here. Um, whenever it wants to, whenever it wants to, it looks like it's attempting to come up and, and break the resistance now, but you need a little bit more upside momentum, a little more upside momentum. Uh, I, I, I hold, I hold Matic personally, and I haven't touched my stack. I have not touched my stack of Matic and don't plan on doing it. So I think this is going to end up just being a bullish consolidation to continue it up. Let's see what happens first. Right off the daily EMA ribbon. Yeah, things look fine to me there. And uh, you actually have bullish divergence too. So you're off the daily EMA ribbon. You have bullish divergence in a downwards channel after a uptrend. I mean, I, I, I like I like the setup there for Matic. I, I am, I'm not touching my Matic. And you better not be coming after my Matic. If you come after my Matic, listen. Listen, me and Mike are homies now, right? Me and Mike, you, he, he kidnapped me before. Now we're homies, okay? So if you come after me, well, what you're going to find is this guy right at my door. What? You want to You want to mess with Jordan? You want to mess with Jordan? Well, guess what? There's no volume in here. The only volume you're going to get is your screams after I suck you in the face. So you better get out of here. You better get out of here. That's the only volume that's going down in here is your face. <laughs> so uh, don't come after me. Don't come after my Matic, man. I wouldn't do it. Um, <clears throat> let's see.
Let's see. <laughs> e back, e fall back down. Yeah, e fell back down a little bit. I don't think we're done today. I don't think we're done tonight, guys. I mean, this is what Bitcoin does. It has a big impulse to the upside and it comes back down for a little bit, kind of slowly comes back up and then goes again. Um, so, what so we saw the last the last day, last time we had like this, these insane pumpish days, where I think it was back here. Um, it was either this pump or this pump. We did kind of the same thing. So, super farm. Yeah, we got it. We got you, bro. Um, let's see. Tulip. What the heck is tulip? You can check out Tulip. Tulip. Holy moly, man. He actually... Wow. A giant... It's gonna be end up being a giant cup and handle pattern. Jeez. Oh, yeah. At daily highs, kaboom, kaboom, bounce off the daily EMA ribbon, and a continuation up. So here's the thing: if this can make its way back up, it's gonna be. I mean, we're we're pretty far away from it. It's at 36 bucks right now. If this can get back up to 45 and break out, this could be a massive cup and handle here on the daily that's forming, which I typically like to see you come back down and back test the daily EMA ribbon four hour, whichever time frame you're looking at. And then continue up from there. That's a good setup. That's a good setup. I, I like that a lot. Um, you just need to get that just continuation to the upside. You know, for whatever reason, if that did break out to the upside eventually, take a look what this would uh, eventually break you out as. Just right there. This did break out at some point. It's like 80, right around 80 bucks. Right around 80 bucks even. Not too shabby. Four hour book back above the four hour EMA ribbon. I like it a lot. If, if this got rejected here, I would be like, all right, maybe you come a little bit lower, but you actually smash the daily uh, four hour EMA ribbon. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on, BTC. <laughs> we're, not, we're not done with you today. We're not done with you. Continue up, man. Don't do it, bro. Hey, bro, thanks for the streams every day. Can you look at, take a look at Veracity? Sure. Why not? We'll also take a look at the uh, the fear and greed ads. I know everyone wants to see the fear and greed ads every day. We'll check out those right after Veracity, guys. The fear and greed ads. I repeat, the fear and greed ads are looking juicy, juicy, juicy. You ask me. All right, so what are we looking at here? What are we looking at for Veracity? Well, we made our way, or we allowed the daily EMA ribbon to catch up the price action, which is great, which is great, great, great. Now we're going to continue to hold it. Are you going to continue to hold it? Uh, if you don't, what do we typically say? When we don't and we're in a bullish trend, we usually do some, do some type of W reversal. Um, you're right in it right now. It's looking, let me actually just get rid of it for a second. Go to the four hour. Yeah, I mean, that. the four hour potentially could be looking a little bottomy. It's because you got oversold. You could come a little bit lower, but then you probably get into oversold again. I don't know. It's looking a little bit potentially bottomy to me let's actually zoom in a little bit yeah i mean it, it, you need to get a little bit more upwards price actually i'm not sure why you're coming down but uh left head right nice inverse head and shoulders very very much like bitcoin uh, but you need to get you're dumping right now. You still could dump and still make this this, head, this inverse head and shoulders. Ultimately, though, what we need to do is round this out and come back up. And it could be a ju nice juicy pattern that gets you back up higher. Uh, ultimately, I do like where this is as far as previous support goes. Previous support, previous resistance, support. I mean, that's a big area that you bounced off of as well. So ultimately, um, let's take a target. Obviously, you got you got to get it back up higher first, but target would be up back up to like seven point nine cents. But you, you got to like I said, you got to round this out. You got to round this out first, and then that would look uh, look pretty good. 
All right, Bitcoin's getting close to back to 66,000. Let's check the fear and greed ads, guys. And I know that's one of my favorite things to look at for sure. Let's see what we got today. We got a refinance calculator. Wow, a refinance calculator. Anyone need a house? There you go. 2.01% apparently. There you go. Anyone want one? There you go. Um, 25. Five percent off shirts, bro. Twenty-five percent off shirts. Oh <laughs> uh, man. 25% off, guys. It's going to be a new high. Hey, I guess they're hurting for sales. So if you want some t-shirts, now's the time, guys. 25% off five shirts. Not too shabby, man. I might have to buy some shirts. 25% off ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Sign me up. <laughs> bullish on sale price. Every time there's good sales, I feel like we're bullish. Every time they're cheap and there's no sales, I feel like we're bearish. Maybe it's a sign, guys. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe True Classic Tees is a whale. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Could be wrong. Um, love your streams, man. ETH prediction by end of year. I think ETH by the end of the year will be at or above $10,000. I still think the cycle goes into next year. Um, I think ETH will top... I, I think ETH can top out at like $15,000. Um, and, I, and I think Bitcoin... All right, sorry. And I think by the end of this year, I, I, I could see ETH being above 10K. Um, obviously, we need, we need Bitcoin to, you know, get, get a move on here for that to happen. But I, 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 I could see a 10K ETH by the end of this year. Maybe very, I, I'd be happy with a 10K ETH. Now, next year, can we get to 15 if, we, if this cycle continues into next year? I think so. I think so. Any higher than that? I mean, there's there's people that think ETH is going to 20k. There's people there's people that think ETH is going to even higher, 30, 40k. That's a little bit unrealistic for me. I, I tend to I tend to try to stay a little bit realistic in my predictions. Anything above 15, I think is a little bit. I mean, a little bit moony, a little bit moony. I would take it. I would be very happy, man. But I mean, don't get me wrong. But you know. Seems a little bit high to me. Uh, super farm, I got you. I got you, bro. Super farm, man. What's super farm up to? BGC dead weight. Yeah. All right, super farm. Vitalik says thirty. Jeez, man. Put twenty five percent off shirts. Better tell Java. Oh, true, true. Java, imagine Java got a five pack of shirts. He'd be set for life. He'd be so happy. <laughs> He'd be so happy. I might have to tell Java that. Jeez, man. Uh, he'd be so happy. All right. So, Super Farm. Are we breaking out? Is the question. I think we are. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey oh, guys, this daylight savings is killing me, bro. I'm telling you, dude. This daylight savings is killing me. I'm tired every day at 10 o'clock. <laughs> I'm tired every day at 8 o'clock now. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I need to eat that on. I can put the ETH hat on. Let me get it in a second. We'll, we'll, we'll throw the ETH hat on in just a second, man. Uh, let me do super farm. I don't know, man. Is that really a confirmed... A confirmed resistance line here it's more so yeah i mean it's not really confirmed resistance line in my brain here maybe it's just not my brain's not working it must be just not working guys but <laughs> it looks like it looks like it, at least it broke out of uh it broke this previous high from yesterday on the four hour chart now it's moving up i think the next logical peak i mean the Next most logical peak is, whoops, 
is this one here, previous peak back here. I also have a wick on it right there uh, at like 181. I think Super Farm goes up there next. EMA ribbon, right up, right off the four hour EMA ribbon. I mean, that, that's been the case. Look, look, look at these bounces. Kaboom, 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 and kaboom. Okay, right, perfect bounces. Then you go to 181. Uh, ETH, ETH, ETH. What am I going to do with you, ETH? What am I going to do with you? You're not behaving. You are not behaving. Go on ETH. Giant bull flag. On Captain ETH, man. All right. What else we got? Uh, Altura. Man, what is these? Altura, Altura, Altura. I guess it's small cap season. Altura does not exist on 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 Trading View, my man. Does not exist. Trading View said, "Nope, nope, nope." Oh, <laughs> I guess we're watching Vitalik. <laughs> I didn't mean to press that. All right, Vitalik's picking his nose. Here he goes. Come on. This is gonna pump up ETH. This he's gonna mine the last ETH that we need to get over fifty thousand or five thousand. There it is. There's the last ETH in my mind. Right on the wall. Put it on there. Put it on there. Come on. There it is. Boom. We have mined the official last ETH uh, in existence, and we're we're ready to roll now. We're ready to roll. Uh, Bitcoin sixty six seventy six. We're making. We're creeping our way back up, guys. That's what Bitcoin does. It falls. And then it comes back up very, very slowly. It creeps up on you like a little mongoose. It creeps up on you like a little mongoose. It, 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 it pounces and it says, I'm here. I'm here. And then it, and then it bumps again. So 66,190 is the level we're watching right now for Bitcoin. Ultimately here. Let's see if we can get there. Um, Metallic the Booger Boy. Facts, 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 like the bigger board. Um, Altura, Gala, Gala, man, what's Gala doing? Oh, Gala is this one that's like slightly pitiful. Let's see. Does Gala have any chance here? Gala, this thing's just been. This thing's been a stable coin since September, man. Holy crap. The ultimate stable coin. The ultimate stable coin. And ultimately, the ultimate stable coin, ultimately. Ultimately, you get a daily close above 11.7 cents. We zoom in a little bit. Let's see what we did recently. So, looks like we had a nice W reversal pattern that broke out. Came back down, back tested, back tested some previous support and resistance levels, and are trying to bounce back up. Let's zoom, let's zoom in on the one hour. I think it's the same type of deal. Yeah, same deal. Same thing on the one hour, right? W reversal, back up. Looks like you're trying to break the, the neckline right now. If you break the neckline here in the one hour, uh, obviously, look for the breakout, the back test. And the continuation back up to probably 10.4 cents, right? Probably 10.4 cents, man. That's the target. Ray Santos, what's up, man? Hope you're not hope you're not doing too shabby, man. It's been a good day. It's been a good day in crypto land, or should we say a good night? <laughs> the, the whole weekend was boring. I hop on and strap up. We're going to the moon. Right? Strap up. We're going to the moon. I mean, it, that's what happens when I strap when I when I strap up, bro. In the good way. Uh, Wed said 25% off shirts better tell Java. What, the 25% off shirts? I think Java. Java, come here real quick. What do you, what do you think about this, this deal, man? What do you think about this deal, Java? Holy crap! 25% off? 25% off? What's the price? 80 bucks? 
I can't afford that. How is it still 80 bucks or 25% off? For five shirts? I can't afford five shirts. I can't even afford one shoe. Never find five shirts. And those are too small. Look at the size of those things. My arm can't even fit in those. <laughs> My arm can't even fit in that shirt. What am I supposed to do with that thing? That thing's so small. <laughs> oh, man. His arm. His arm can't fit in it. All right, I'm done. I'm done. His arm can't fit in the damn shirt. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Um... Keep up the good work, said Ray. Uh, Steven said you need their ETH hat to break resistance. Hold on, let me let me go get my ETH hat. Hold up. <laughs> All right, get the ETH hat, guys. The ETH hat is on, engaged. Oh wow, we are. Blurry as heck. We are more blurry than Jabba's, Jabba's home screen. All right, we got the ETH hat, boys. We're going up to a million now. We're going up to a million. Uh, can you look at Lit? We'll pump with dot parachain. Lit? Is Lit Lit? Let's check out if Lit is Lit, man. Let's check it out, dude. Lit. Lit parachain. Uh, does Lit look Lit? Let's see. We'll pump with dot parachain. It actually might. It actually might. You have same resistance on the top side, and you're getting higher lows, which is quite, quite beautiful if you ask me. Okay, so higher lows, same resistance on the top side. What does that tell you? Bullish and cum could be bullish accumulation. You could also look at this as rising channel. Move up or down. Check it out. You can also look at this as some type of rising channel, right? Which could be a, a bearish continuation pattern. But um, I like this more as same resistance on the top side and higher lows. Uh, I like it more like that, to be, to be honest. And I like how like intra, like this could be a cup, this could be a handle, if you can get the bounce here. That, that could be a nice, nice little swing. Right off the daily EMA ribbon. So here's the thing. If you can bounce off the daily EMA ribbon here, um, you also have, you have a nice you know, ascending pattern, right? But, you, but and if you can bounce there, you got also got a cup and handle inside that, inside that um, big bullish pattern, which is the ascending triangle. So this could potentially, if you were to take Let's just take the, I'm not gonna take the whole thing. Let's take the potential, if you can pump up above there, put you about 858. Got room to run in all the time frames. Daily has room to run. Four hour, room to run. One hour, room to run. Doesn't look too bad. You need to find that uh, little short term bottom, which it looks like it wants to do. You're also getting higher lows and, and, yeah, I mean, some type of symmetrical triangle here on the one hour, but if, if Bitcoin can keep pumping here, it's probably going to pick bring up the ults with it, man. It's probably going to bring up the ults with it. Um, Piccolo next 100x. Is Piccolo? What's Piccolo, man? It makes me seem like you're talking about Pinocchio, man. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Pinocchio? Like, what, what kind of stream is this? We're looking up Pinocchio coins? Where's my Pinocchio? Bro, are you going to actually tell me that Pinocchio is real? Because these ain't real. If you guys see Pinocchio on screen, let me know. But I, I don't think Pinocchio is a real guy. I really don't. Let's check out Pinocchio. Looks like ETH. Man, ETH keeps flirting. ETH keeps flirting with that with that level, man. Pinoc. Piccolo. Let's see. Piccolo. Piccolo Inu. <laughs> I don't know if it's Piccolo Inu. 
Oh, we're not looking at Bacolo Inu. Oh, heck no. Nope. 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 We're not looking at Bacolo Inu. <laughs> um, let's see. Can you look at planets? Anything with Inu besides Shiba? Nope. 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 Does it mean it can't go up? Does it mean that these these Inu coins can't go up, right? Inus, Doges, uh, I don't know. Anything with Doge, Inu, right? Besides Doge, Coin, and Shiba, their top coins now, they can still pump. They can still pump, but should we look at them on stream? I'd be lying if I said yes, and I'm going to lie and say yes right now. And boom, there goes my nose. Grows. Why? Because I'm lying. Uh, let's look at lit. I know. Planets. 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 Looks like ETH is trying to go back up again with the hat, man. What is this, bro? What kind of chart is this? What kind of chart is this? Is this the best one we got? That's the only chart we got, bro? Well, this is all we got. This doesn't really tell us much. Um... The daily chart look a little better. I guess the daily isn't bad. The daily looks fine. I mean, you broke you broke all your daily highs, right? So all you really have left is look down. I mean, it, all, all your fibs are going to be broken. So all all you really have left here, if we just want to take maybe this down. You might right. You might actually be right at your six one eight, right at your six one eight right now. So if the six one eight or the golden pocket here can break, right, the golden pocket, which sits right here, if that breaks, seven eight six is all the way up at forty point four cents, right? Forty point four cents is that next target, right? Forty point four cents. So let's see if that plays out for planets. But um, you got room to run on the daily too, but this typically. Maybe come back down and back to some of these areas, but I, th I think the daily still looks juicy. The daily still looks really juicy. All right, ETH is, ETH is right there, guys, again. Look at ETH. Look at ETH. Let me get this trend line set correctly. There we go. All right. 46. 46.90 for ETH right now. 46.90. Let me get rid of my nose, by the way. <laughs> People are probably coming in. What the heck is wrong with this guy's nose? <laughs> I didn't even realize I still had the nose on there, bro. Everyone's probably, literally, everyone who probably knew came in the stream is like, dude, what is wrong, what is wrong with this guy's nose? Why is this guy's nose so big? Um, 46.89, dude. We're doing pretty juicy right now. That's your lucky hat, man. It is. It is. But ever since I got this hat, ETH has been, ETH has been in, in a pretty consistent uptrend, right? A pretty consistent uptrend. Can you look at Chili's? <laughs> no moving lines after set yeah i wasn't trying to move the line i just wanted it to be, to be accurate because it wasn't really accurate for a second let's see all right 65 8 16 i go for i go over two minutes and george's nose gets huge it's because i was lying man i was lying left and right did mana negate the head and shoulders on the one hour are we going to move down up or down from here what for mana? I you gotta remember, man. Mana had a massive move. So um just remember, dude, when when you get massive moves on that on, on these coins, bro, you're gonna have pullbacks. I mean, it is what it is. Um are we gonna move up or down from here? I mean let's see. Let's see, dude. So where are the swords? Oh, ETH. ETH might be breaking out, bro. Strap up. We're going to the moon. Is ETH about to break out, man? Let's see what happens, dude. 46.93. 46.94. 46.95. 46.96. 46.97. 46.98. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46.99. 46
really, really nicely here. All right, here's some ETH again. Come on, bro. Wrap up. We're going to the moon. Come on, ETH. Come on, ETH. Let's go, buddy. 46.93. And Jordan about to pass out. Facts, man. Facts. You're a breakout trader? I don't trade, man. I don't trade. I, I just I just hold I hold my coins, man. I uh I'll, I'll trade I'll trade if the market's being super boring. I, I might do a few trades here and there, but uh especially in a bear, in bear markets, I'll I'll do some trades, but not uh not in times like this. For me, there's no need to there's no need to. There's no need to in my opinion. Um if you have enough patience, you you'll do fine just holding your coins. But uh mana Let's see, bro. Let's see. I mean, it's not really... So, yeah, you did have an initial, you know, type of head and shoulders type pattern. It looks like you got rejected from it. Uh, you rejected the head and shoulders. And sometimes rejecting these bearish patterns, right? Sometimes rejecting these bearish patterns can be the best thing to happen, right? And that can give you some serious juice to continue up higher, right? So, uh 325 you're at 325 right now let's see let's see you gotta you gotta get some more momentum here to the upside but um i'm liking what you're seeing at the moment for me at least on the small time frames it's too early to tell it's too early to tell if, if you get rejected here again you come back down all right we're back in the same spot we're back in the same spot can't hold my breath any longer let's go <laughs> I don't think we, all, any of us can hold our breath. I think any of us can hold our breath. Let's see. Come on, ETH. 46.89. Um, I reckon you haven't bought any soul yet. No soul. I have not bought any soul. I have not bought any soul. Soul's actually trying to kill it right now. Soul actually just broke. This previous high from right here, two forty one eighty one, bro. Two forty one eighty one. Uh, looks like you broke that. So it looks like Soul could be going back up to test its golden pocket back upwards of two forty four. Right, two forty four could be that next target there for Soul, man. Not looking too shabby. Not looking too shabby, bro. I, I'm I'm liking this chart for Soul a lot, especially if you can get the. Get, you didn't get the one hour close, but ah, let's see. I still think you're going back up to test 244, 245 at the very least here uh, for Solana. So, yeah, so Soul's killing it. Um, I'll go four hour wedge breakout thoughts. I'll go four hour wedge. Let's see. Happy belated birthday. It's not my freaking birthday. <laughs> Richard, it's not my birthday, bro. It ain't my birthday. If you guys think it's my birthday, all right? Every day, someone said it's my birthday. My birthday is in September, guys. But I, I appreciate you saying happy birthday every day. It means a lot. It does. Don't get me wrong, guys. It means a lot to you guys to think of my birthday, okay? It really does. And it, it, it makes me feel like... Strap up. We're going to the moon. Yeah. It makes me, it makes me feel like we're going to strap up and go to the moon. But I... I, I, I it's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. <laughs> as much as I want it to be my birthday. All right, let's see. So I'll go four hour wedge breakout. What wedge? Are we talking about this wedge? This little wedge right here? Uh, <laughs> happy birthday. And everyone says happy birthday now. All right, guys, it's my birthday. That means I have to sing. Happy birthday to Jordan. Happy birthday to Jordan. Happy birthday to Jordan. Happy birthday to you. There you go. No, but I'll go. I'll go. You did smash that, uh, this downtrend. Oh, uh, not downtrend. It looks like a little bit of a wedge, yeah. Target would be 235, ultimately there. So we'll see if Algo can get up there. Now, on the shorter term time frames, you might come back down back test first before continuing up. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go. It looks even better on the one hour. So 235 back up to the previous 
peak would be that target for the breakout of that wedge. Uh, ETH right now is kind of being a little bit of a stinker, if you ask me. Um, we're still waiting for the breakout out of this um, downtrend of resistance, but it's right there, man. It's it's a couple bucks away, but we need Bitcoin to need Bitcoin to hold up a little bit more here. Happy birthday for next September. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jaylee. Uh, Edgar said, V-Chain. Thanks, amigo. Thank you, amigo. No one's ever called me amigo. That means a lot, man. That's a new one. I appreciate it, Edgar. You call me amigo. What's better? What's What, do you, what would you guys rather be called? Amigo, friend, um, man, dude. I kind of like amigo. Amigo just has that little vibe to it. Like, Wow, like, I'm that guy's amigo. I'm Edgar's amigo. That sounds, that just sounds like a new, like a new level. I don't know. That's my opinion, though. Uh, Edgar, V-Chain. Look at the four, the four hours coming up right at its, looks like a downtrend of resistance on, on the four hour. Um... Guys, don't, don't don't spam emojis in the chat, please. Um, no emo <laughs> don't do a bunch of emojis in the chat. Uh, v chain downtrend of resistance, and on the four hour. Let's see, on the four hour, four hour, four hour for V chain. I mean, it's just this downtrend of resistance, bro. You know, a, a bunch of horizontal support levels coming across. Just a support, 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 support. And ultimately, you just got to break this downtrend of resistance. It looks like you, you might have had like a little bit of a head and shoulders pattern going on. But you can notice a lot of these alts had a similar head and shoulders that got negated and got rejected, right? So some of them have already broken out. Some of them are waiting to break out of their downtrends. Um, but I, I like how a lot of these have sort of negated these, these head and shoulders patterns, which... Could have pushed us a lot lower here, but we, we we rejected them as of right now, right? That could change, but as of right now, we have successfully rejected a lot of these head and shoulders patterns, which is great. Absolutely great. Absolutely great. Um, what's Bitcoin doing? Bitcoin, come on, BTC. Come on, BTC. I, I guess we can't get too greedy. We can't get too greedy, right, guys? Um, as much as we want to get greedy, we can't get too greedy. Uh, Bitcoin with pretty nice move there in the beginning of the stream, which is great. Absolutely great. What's up, Jasper? What's going on, Jasper? Appreciate that, man. Um, let's see. Bob the ultimate trolls with the emojis. <laughs> he is. Bob, Bob loves the emojis, man. He comes in the chat and he goes... What a, this guy sucks. This guy sucks. Why is everyone watching this guy? This guy sucks. He has no idea what he's talking about. No, I'm going to send a trolley comment. I'm going to send a trolley comment. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. Clown emoji, laughing emoji, clown emoji, laughing emoji, clown emoji. <laughs> That'll get him. That, that, that'll keep him awake at night that's gonna keep him awake awake at night <laughs> oh yeah he's gonna see that comment and he's gonna be so mad <laughs> he's gonna be so mad <laughs> I'm the best troll I'm the best troll there is <laughs> laughing emoji that's <laughs> uh, every every troll every troll man look at ETH ETH back up there 4691 come on ETH Come on, ETH. You keep going up to this level and you keep getting rejected. Give us, give it to us then. Give it to us. Give it to us. Um, <laughs> that'll get him. <laughs> the do emoji. <laughs> what was that? Brother, have you checked FET and ALGO? Your available thoughts on these. Gracias. 
Uh, yeah, we did Algo probably about 10 minutes ago, man. But I'll, I'll check out FET for you for sure, dude. I'll check out FET. <laughs> Patrick said happy belated birthday. <laughs> you guys kill me with the birthday. You guys kill me with the no volume too. When you guys say there's no volume, you got that. You got me on that the first time. The first time you got me on that. But now every time you say no volume, I'm not going to believe you. It's going to be like, a, it's going to be like the, uh, what is it? The, the, the kid that cried wolf or whatever it is. You guys are going to say no volume one day. And I'm going to do a whole stream with no volume. Literally, 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 literally. A whole stream with no volume. Because you guys are going to say no volume, no volume. And I'm not going to believe you that there's volume. <laughs> I'm, I'm going I'm to think that there's volume the whole time. I think, I think you guys are trolling me. Um, all right, FET. Let's do FET. I got a FET. I got a FET. I got a FET. Fet. <laughs> I gotta say what I wanna say. Alright, Fet. What is Fet doing? Fet. It's an interesting name, man. Alright. Let's zoom out a little bit here on, on Mr. Fet. Mr. Fet. What is this thing? See where the daily eBay ribbon is. Okay, 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 okay. So you can see it. We're nicely trying to bounce off the daily email ribbon the whole time. And one little close above, close below it, then you popped right back above it. Right, you popped right back above it. There's no volume. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Um, you pumped back up, came back down, retested the daily email ribbon again. Yeah, you tested the daily email ribbon again. Um, what are you doing here, man? Bet the daily stock is bottomed out, and I like how the daily stock's bottomed out and the daily. EMA ribbon is also acting as support there. Like I said earlier, uh, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Get rejected off the four hour EMA ribbon. You had a little bit of bullish div and then that's why you're trying to get a little bit of a pump here. You can see you had higher lows and you had lower lows on the RSI. So you're trying to get some type of bullish divergence with the four hour stock RSI bottomed out. The problem you're having right now is you keep getting rejected off the, the four hour EMA ribbon. So if you can get back above that, it might give you a little juice to get up higher. Um, honestly, on, on some of these shorter term time frames, it's probably on the hourly too. Uh, not quite, not quite. So, oh, I mean, you can see the hourly EMA ribbon's giving you kind of a resistance too, all the way down. So. Um, you, you have some you have some moving averages to get back above there ultimately and but but like I said the daily daily doesn't look too bad but the the, the shorter term time frames we have to work on right now is getting back above some of those moving averages man all right bitcoin's going to zero guys everybody panic we're going to everybody panic we're going to zero volume we don't need volume <laughs> Too much volume. Big crash is coming. Do, do, do. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Um, we're not going to zero. <laughs> we're not going to zero. <laughs> I, I, I like I like teasing you guys. Everybody panic. We're going to zero. Everyone's going to sell now. Here we go. I'm going to buy the top and I'm going to sell the bottom, guys. Um, <laughs> I love that. That one gets me every time. I'm going to buy the top and I'm going to sell the bottom, guys. Um, But yeah, I mean, a little rejection there. Coming back down. Let's see. Let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. For all I know, Bitcoin can come back down a little bit and kind of reset everything and then go back up again. So the hourly closed, actually the hourly wicked up to 190. You got the new hourly pulling back. Is this going to be a back test of one of two things? Are you just going to back test this previous high here and continue up? Or are you going to back test the downtrend of resistance here, which we had the sort of uh, inverse head and shoulders neckline? Are we going to come back down and back test that? That's the question. That is thy question here. We already got the back test of the previous high from back here on November 11th. But 
like we said, will we get the down? Will we get the sixty-five two hundred retest, which is the inverse head and shoulders retest, right? Where we come back down, maybe down here, and then we go up. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You Jabba, <laughs> you lied. I already sold all my crypto. <laughs> Good luck, man. Good luck. Patrick said, "Jasmine, let's do Jasmine." I will wait for Bitcoin to decide what it wants to do here. Uh, Jasmine. Let's see what Jasmine's doing. Whoa. Is that, the, is, that, is that actually the daily? It is. Wow. Okay. All right. So what's Jasmine doing? Should we be worried about Jasmine? Well, I wouldn't say we'd be worried. Um, you're actually at a good spot right now. You're at a good spot. If you look here closely... Let's actually take our fibs from this low to this high. See where we're sitting. So I think we come a little bit lower. I think we come a little bit lower here to the 618 right here. Um, at about 15.7 cents. 15.7 cents come a little bit lower. What would that mean? What would that mean? Well, that would mean a couple different things. You'll be right at the daily. You'll be right at your daily EMA ribbon, which is where you typically want to bounce from. You also would have some nice bullish divergence with lower lows and higher lows in price action. Okay, and also would be the six one eight fit. All right, so I think that makes a lot of sense. Come back down to that fifteen point six level, and then reverse back up. Reset the daily RSI. Reset the hourly. Reset the four hour. Beautifully. Okay. Beautifully. 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 That's the pullback you needed. And you might continue up from there, honestly. Um, yeah, that's probably what I see happening, just based off uh, the setup you got. All right, Bitcoin is breaking that level. Let's see what happens here. Do we come back down and test all the way back down here? Or do we, we could actually back test this high right here too, at like 65.3. Let's see what happens, man. I'm gonna buy the top and I'm gonna sell the bottom, guys. Let's see. Lots of buying volume, though. Is Crow going up right now? What's Crow doing, man? Hey, just Super Chat Jasper again. And uh, Mark with the five euro Super Chat. What's going on, Mark? It's Crow up. Crow! Forty-eight point four for Crow. You went right off the point six one eight, right off the point of the one point six one eight. I mean that, that was perfect. You went a little bit higher than it, but it looks like you're getting an initial rejection off the one point six one eight. Um, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, man. Dead Cat Dono, <laughs> you are the biggest bear I've ever seen in the chat, bro. <laughs> you say everyone bullish. Good time to get bearish. Uh, good luck with that, man. I mean, it, it, like I said, it, you want to be bearish? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go go watch Savvy Stream, bro. <laughs> go watch. Go watch Savvy Stream, bro. You know, I'm sure Savvy will give you your bear hopium. Okay, if you want your bear hopium, I'm sure Savvy will find something for you. Savvy will. Uh, Savvy will probably be like. Savvy will probably stream tomorrow and be like actually he probably won't stream tomorrow why because we pumped whenever we pump he doesn't stream but the next day he'll probably we'll probably drop like 0.5 percent and he'll go like all right guys we dropped 0.5 percent exactly as i predicted exactly as i predicted I i've been predicting this since three days ago that we would get our elliott wave theory one two three four five count rejection at sixty seven thousand with a target all the way back down, all the way back down. You guys can't even see it. The screen is so big. Um, all the way back down to 28,000. That's our target of our current Elliott wave. Now, this has been the 
10th Elliott wave that we've done on this uptrend since July when we were at 29,000. This has been my 10th attempt at being right. Let's see if I'm right this time. Let's see if I'm right this time. Uh, I really think that's where we're going. Um, if, if it doesn't work again, well, you know, uh, my wife get, might get pissed at me again. My wife might get pissed at me again. We might have to go on another fishing trip uh, to make her happy. But uh, let's hope I'm right. Let's hope I'm right this time, bro. Let's just hope. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. All right. That, 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 that's your bear hopium for the day. That's your bear hopium for the day. Um, there we go. So bearish. So bearish. Time to adjust those lines. <laughs> Mute. Time to adjust those lines. 28K. Yeah, we're going to 28K, guys. You heard it from Savvy himself. 10th chime's the charm. All right, so 65K. We're kind of just chilling now. We're coming back down. Nice little back test. Come on, back test. If you're going to, here's the thing, Bitcoin. If you're going to back test, don't tease us. Just come back down, back test, and let us move on with our day, okay? Come back down right now. Come right down here. Come back up. All right, don't tease us. Don't make this, don't make this is a drawn out process. Don't make this is a drawn out process. Just do it now. Bulls, if you're buying right now, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Let Bitcoin back test this this neckline, and then and then we can do our thing. All right. So bulls, I I, I know you're you're trying to buy the dip, <laughs> you're trying to buy the dip, but let's hold off a little bit, and then we can buy the dip. Sound good? Perfect. Sounds good. Crow is the biggest is the my biggest bag. There you go, Petrax. You've probably been killing it then, man. Congrats, dude. 65, 600. <laughs> it's right on the wall. <laughs> We're just going to go sideways the whole day? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Sir dude said, not going to lie, I'm super salty about Crow. <laughs> <laughs> Sir dude, you can't, you can't win them all, man. You can't win them all, bro. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, you can't win them all, bro. You know, it's it's like Pokemon. You can't catch them all, you know? It's the same thing with, with crypto. You can't own them all. And if you try to own them all, you probably won't have a huge amount in all of them, right? So it's one of those things. It's like, gotta own them all, Pikachu. And seeing it is always. <laughs> the freaking Pokemon song. You gotta own them all. That's the new theme song here. Um... Might as well get Ash catch him in the chat. Where's Ash? Ash is gonna go catch every single crypto. Let's throw Pokeballs at every crypto. Salty. Denise says salty, you too. <laughs> Everyone's salty. Uh let's see. Can you look at V Chain? Sure. You look at V Chain. What's V Chain up to right now? V Chain? Oh. V Chain. Earlier today, I was trying to break up. Down trying to resistance. Looks like you got an initial rejection. Kind of like, uh, kind of like ETH. You, a, you, you came right to this down trend of resistance and you got an initial rejection off of that. Um, relatively speaking. So um, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I think, you know, it's because Bitcoin's coming back down and back testing some area. I don't know if it's going to back test over here. I don't know if it's going to come lower and back test uh, the neckline. But that's why you're seeing some alts come back down a little bit here in the last hour or so, which is fine, which is fine. I mean, ultimately, we're where we want to be for a lot of these alts. So we cannot complain at the current moment, guys. We cannot complain. And I'm sure none of us are complaining. But like we said, if ETH breaks this downtrend of resistance, um, obviously it's not really, it's more, like I said, it's a descending triangle, which is typically bearish, but uh, it can often break to the upside in a bullish trend. So, and if you did break this the upside in the next couple hours, it's going to put you right back up 20 cents, potentially. And you're getting pretty close to, you know, where, where we want to be for VeChain ultimately. We will complain about ADA. Let's all complain about ADA, ready? 
Ready? Everyone on, on three, say ADA is a stable coin. Ready? One, two, three. ADA is a stable coin. Wow. We could hear it around the earth. So many people in here, we could, we could hear that around the earth. That's how loud we, everyone just said ADA is a stable coin. That's an exit on stable coin. Facts. Let's see. What was the big news? I can't tell you yet. I can't tell you yet. Um... I don't know if that would have been confirmed. I think it's, I think it's gonna happen on Friday. You guys will know by Friday. You guys will know by Friday if it goes down, right? If it goes down, like I said, if it does, um, could be. I mean, it, definitely bring more people to the channel. That's for sure. Um, it's just, I, I can't, I can't say anything yet. Can't say anything yet. It is a stable coin. Oh, facts. It is a stable coin. Everyone's typing it in the chat. <laughs> I meant say it so everyone in the world can hear. It is a stable coin. Still holding my ADA? Yeah, I'm, I'm holding my ADA too, man. I'm not selling my ADA. I'm not selling it at this point. Uh, 45, 65, 700. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. What's ETH doing? 46, 77 on ETH. Ave, <laughs> yeah, Ave pisses me off, bro. Ave is like the redheaded stepchild in my portfolio. <laughs> like, let me see if I can find. Let me see if I can find. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Hold up. Not, not this either. Eh, this is good enough. What's going on? My name's Ave, the red-headed stepchild. <laughs> I can't do anything. Um, I, I'm no good for nothing. Karen hates me. My mom hates me. I'm the red-headed stepchild. That's why I'm never on stream. Red-headed stepchild. No, but uh, Ave, I mean, Ave kind of pisses me off too, bro. Uh, <laughs> You know, but don't don't get me wrong. I'm not making the same mistake I did. I'm not selling my Ave. I'm not selling it, bro. Because the second I do, it's gonna pump. The second I sell Ave, it will pump. And we, we all know how it works at this point. So it's not happening. It's it's not. It's just not gonna happen for me. So, um, yeah, man. I mean. You don't really got much going on with this. You got higher lows, lower highs coming in ultimately, but this thing can go on for longer. You know, and it's not it's probably not what we want to hear ultimately, but it could it could it's just not doing anything. It's just going up and down. <laughs> like I don't need to say it in a bad way, but we're literally just going up and down at this point. The redhead step shop. Um yeah. Not to say it's like it's like Cardano but worse, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's like Cardano but worse, ultimately. Back on the ETH app. He just got back from the rave. <laughs> Didn't know the news was gonna be gonna be a transition. <laughs> oh man, I want to collect all the Crow debit cards. Go get them, man. I don't have I don't have one personally. I I need to get one. I need to get one. I was gonna get the um I was gonna get the block five one. I haven't I haven't got the block five one. I was gonna get that one, but I didn't. I didn't get the block five one. I want it though, that's for sure. Um actually get rid of that. There we go. Alright. Back in business. Um AVAX. We looked at AVAX a little bit earlier. We'll check it out again. I don't know if it's doing anything different than it was earlier. We had an awesome start to the stream. Uh, can 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 we can we can we get some more price action though? That is the question, man. That is thy question at the moment, guys. Um, Avax, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Well, we broke out of this bull flag, right? We still haven't hit our target for our bull flag. Our bull flag target is all the way up here at 111 bucks. We actually you had this 1.618 fib coming across. You broke it. You actually came back down and back tested it nicely there. Nice little back test. Can you get the juice to continue higher here? Let's go in on the one hour and see what's going down in the one hour. 
Are we making another bull flag on top of a bull flag? I think we are. All right, I think we are. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a clear bull flag. So if you took the, the flagpole of this one, <laughs> ultimately that would break out, you know. Might put you somewhere around, you know, obviously not as high as your other one, but yeah, I mean, right around the same point, 108, 111. I mean, AVAX is just making another bull flag to the upside, you know, another bull flag. You gospel say everything, you get, when you get off, everything's going to pump? Probably, man. I'd be okay with that, though. I would be okay with that. I'm ready for some pumpage. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for some damn pumpage. You know? Yeah, sir, dude. Uh, <laughs> I said, sir, dude. This is looking good. Uh, mana, we looked at mana too earlier, but we'll take a quick look at it again. Uh, mana, oh, mana's pumping now. <laughs> mana's pumping now, guys. <laughs> I'm playing the pump song. Screw it. Ah, not yet, not yet. If mana can break 346, we'll play the pump song, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's what we talked about. Sometimes these rejections out of these bearish patterns, right? So you had a bearish, 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 Head and shoulders pattern here on the one hour that looked like it was going to play out you got rejected on it and sometimes these rejections can cause you to move higher and that's exactly what mana can do now if mana can break this 346 level has a good shot of testing back up at 381 uh man is looking juicy uh shazette oh is, is eth going back up eth strap up we're going to the moon eth let's go Let's go, ETH. 40. <laughs> if, you do, if you do this one more time, where you come up here and you get rejected again, I'm going to flip out. I'm going to flip out. So let's not do this. Let's not do this right now. Seriously, let's not do this. No pumps unless within 5% of all-time high and has momentum. Okay, good deal. All right, let's check out Adam real quick. Looks like, looks like ETH is trying to get back up there. It looks like... Bitcoin, trying to move back up slightly too. All right, Adam, a little homie Adam. Still waiting on the confirm breakout here on the hourly, but it's looking like it wants to, wants to make a little move here. A little move if you ask me. Let's see, yeah. So, looks like it wants to break out, which is nice. Which is nice, nice, nice. Just like, just like ETH. Just like ETH. If this breaks out, I mean, there's not much until, it's really not much until, and obviously you have a peak here. Probably 33.74. But this is on the one hour. Let's go to the four hour. There's so much price action up here. It's crazy. Uh, look at all this price action. Look at all this price action in the four hour. If that breaks, I'd be looking at 34.30. So, I mean, you got a ton of price action here. You got a lot of work to do, but if this can break, you're looking good there for AVAX. You're looking good there for AVAX, man. Just like ETH. Just like ETH. All right. 46.92. We're back, we're back in business, boys. We're back in business. Back in business for ETH. Give me the business. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. And give me one more shot, one more shot to get this. <laughs> Ethan's like, we're not, Jordan, we're not gonna pump if you don't, if you don't stop singing. Man, we're seriously not gonna pump if you don't stop singing. So please stop singing right now. That's what Ethan's telling me. Uh, Ernesto wants to check out Wax. I got you in just a second, uh, Ernesto. Ernesto, my homie. Come on, Ethan. You've, you've been flirting. Eth has been flirting with this resistance for the last two hours, bro. You have a you have less delay today than usual. Did you change something? No, I did. I didn't change anything. I think it's sometimes it's YouTube. I don't think it's me. I, I don't think I uh, I don't I don't I didn't change anything. No, that's weird. Uh, forty six ninety one, man. It's just it's sitting. It's sitting there, bro. Oh, there it is. There it is.
Let's see if we get continuation up. But we, we broke the trend line. We at least broke the trend line, which is good. Let's see if we can get some continuation up now. We at least get back over 4,700. Like, damn. Give me something. Pass out? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> that was my pass out for today. No volume. Have fun in this bull trap. It's a bull trap. No volume. There's no volume. <laughs> There's no volume. This is a bull trap. This is a bull trap. Oh, yeah. This is a bull trap. Let, do I, all right. This is a bull trap, bro. This is a bull trap, bro. All right. Let, let's. Let's rewind a little bit. Let's rewind because apparently this is a bull trap. This is a trap of the bulls. Um, let's go look at the volume again. Okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. You know, that's what we do here. Bro. There's never volume, bro. <laughs> there's never volume. <laughs> like, it's it's been the same... We haven't had a huge uptick in volume since since down here, bro. I mean, you have you have these one-offs, but relatively speaking, there's no volume. There's no volume. There's none. There's no volume the whole run. What are we gonna do? If you want to keep playing the no volume game, sit on the sidelines, okay? And play the no volume game, all right? See how that does for you. Keep playing the no volume game. I dare you. Keep playing it. Keep playing it, bro. Um, <laughs> uh, no volume. All right, so we got 15 minutes into the close. Is Bitcoin going to close this candle red and then have the next one come in and get us back up? And this can count as the retest candle. That is the question, right? That is thy question. Is he passed out or is my screen frozen? I was passed out. I was passed out. Jordan. <laughs> but Jordan, there's no volume. Wait, why is my hair red? Bro, <laughs> my hair is still red. I just got back from a rave, guys. That's where I was this morning. I was at a rave. You guys like my red hair? Yes or no in the chat? Do you guys like my red hair? Yes or no in the chat? I'm going to keep it like this for probably a couple of weeks. I think it looks pretty good. Um, let me know in the chat. Do you guys like my ha red hair? Yes or no in the chat? It's a pregnant bat pattern? Yes? <laughs> oh man pull it it is not like the 6 billion volume from the drop yeah that's for sure that's for sure alright eat this back below <laughs> eat this back below just like that guys uh, for now for now let's see what happens though alright let's check out wax for my guy Ernesto Red hair looks good. Thank you. No? <laughs> it's not actually real. Some of you guys actually like the red hair. <laughs> it's, not, it's not actually real. I hope you guys are kidding. I would not like that hair. If I had that hair, I would probably pass out from me being from looking so bad. Personally. I know some people like, the, like that kind of hair. It, 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 that's not for me. It, that's not for me at all. It just, it just doesn't look good, man. Doesn't look good whatsoever. Usually blue hair running around. Yeah, yeah. I, I I tend to stick. I tend to stay away from 
I'm not actually I'm not gonna say it. It's gonna get me. It's probably gonna get some people offended. I don't wanna Sometimes I wanna say stuff, but like I gotta remember I'm on YouTube and I'm gonna, I'm gonna offend people. Um <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I wanna say. Alright. Uh wax. What are we looking at, man? Was this some type of cup and handle pattern? Let me actually looking at the daily email. Yeah. Didn't bounce off the bottom, but ultimately you can see, I mean, this uptrend of resistance, which we came up to four times. We finally broke it to the upside. And that's when you got that big, 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 big daily green impulse candle up there. Um let's check out our fibs. See where we went to. All right, we didn't respect it at all. We smashed the 1.618 and we got up to not even the 2.618. Daily daily RSI is getting up there. Is definitely, definitely, definitely getting up there. Uh, it's in the 80s. Check out the four hour. Same thing. So, I mean, this one would probably make sense if you did come back down and, and retest. Probably retest this trend line and then continue up just to reset the four hour reset the daily and then allow you more juice to continue up after probably would make the most sense there for wax but let's figure out what happens man wax ultimately like if you did continue up when you do continue up it, the technical next target would be the 2.618 at 96.9 cents even though this one didn't really respect the 1.618 actually you did get a wick and a quick pullback and then you went again but um yeah, I mean, Wax probably could use a little bit of a little bit of a dippage. A little bit of dippage here. I would not be surprised. A bull snatch. Check out the Wax Off pattern. The Wax Off. I was actually looking at this earlier, guys, and I was like, this, you know, if we, if I, if I was looking at this earlier today, and I was like, if this comes back down lower again, this might actually look like some type of wick off, right? I mean, you have a low... Came up, low, came up again. You had one more low when you made a lower low and like had a nice spring here. That looked like a wick off pattern accumulation on the hourly, but it, you know, it didn't even come that low. And we just ended up making a, you know, inverse head and shoulders as well, or, or instead, which is great. I mean, I'll, t I'll definitely take that instead for sure. All right, ETH is, ETH, it should be breaking out right now. It's just Bitcoin's being a little bit, not indecisive, I guess is not the, the, not the right word, but um, it probably is going to stay here for the next 10 minutes and, and, and confirm this back test here on this candle. And the next candle, it'll probably move back up. Uh, that's probably what I see happening here for Bitcoin. Like I said, Giordano Inu Fractal. Giordano Inu Fractal is looking juicy. Like I said, I don't know if we're at like right here or if we're at, sorry, I don't know if we're at like right here or if we're at like right here and i don't know what part we're at um but but honestly it probably would make more sense if we're right here to be honest you know like upwards then you go sideways for a little bit and up again i know we don't want to go sideways we're like <laughs> jordan please no more sideways rick we're done we're done bro we're done with sideways bro uh but we'll see we'll see i mean either way we if our prophecy, right, we have two prophecies. We have Plan B's prophecy and we have the Giordano Inu Fractal prophecy. If both of our prophecies were to play out, we should see a big move at the end of this month, right? These next two weeks should be big months based off our two prophecies. Um, so let's see what happens, man. I, Bitcoin's going to do whatever it wants to do, but it should. And I'm expecting more higher prices at the end of this month. But obviously... Um, the whales are going to do what they want to do. The whales are going to come in and if they want to scoop up some more, they will. If they want to push it back down, they will. Ultimately, the price is going to follow the whale, right? The price is going to follow the whale. Keep going. Yep, there it goes. And it's at zero, okay? It's at zero. Whereas if the whale was coming this way, well, we'd be doing this instead. So, <laughs> ultimately... That's, uh, I'm expecting us to go higher based off our two prophecies. My prophecy is playing out once we dump and pump like nuts. Once we dump and pump. 
That Giordano Inu Fractal it sounds like some serious crap. <laughs> uh, it's been working out pretty far. Pretty, uh, it's working out pretty uh, good so far. Su Chang, what did you do with Melissa? What did you do with Melissa, Su Chang? Melissa is the Sado hyper in the chat. Su Chang, you need to. I need Melissa back. I need Melissa back. Su Chang, if you're the same person as Melissa, change your name back to Melissa. I need Melissa back. She is the Sado hyper. Not you. Not you, Su Chang. We don't want you, Su Chang. We want Melissa. Bring back Melissa. I know it's I know it's the same person. Get rid of Su Chang. Bring back Melissa. Bring back Melissa. Right now. Su Chang. We don't want you, bro. <laughs> we don't want you, bro. First he was moving lines, now he's moving fractals. <laughs> Facts, Mike. <laughs> Facts, Mike. Um, let's see. Melissa pumping. Check DRF. Bro trying to make another go at it. Bro trying to make another go at it. Let's see. Crow. Crow USD. Uh, yeah, it's still sitting below the 1.618. So until we break that... I don't think there's any reason to look at it. I mean, what's good about Crow is the four hour, there's no four hour divergence, which is great. Like Crow could just continue up here, which is awesome. Ultimately, 59 cents is the next target. So uh, Crow's looking juicy, juicy, juicy. You had a 76 in the RSI. You might have a little bit more juice left in it. A little bit more juice. So engine's pumping. All right, look at engine. Look at engine. Everyone knows I hate Engine and, and Phantom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I, I actually don't. Everyone thinks I hate Engine and Phantom. Guys, I don't. Engine is an engine, you know? So how could I hate Engine? All right, so Engine. Engine, Engine, number nine. On the New York man line. All right. So downtrend of resistance is coming up. For engine coming up not really oh yeah this is another one that looked like it had a you know not the greatest price action going on at first right we had a left shoulder head not really a right shoulder but you can see i mean look at that bounce that's a sexy sexy bounce there sexy sexy bounce ultra sexy um yeah i mean the four hours looking juicy on this off a nice level support too a lot of support at that general level like 295 so yeah if engine can break this stuff trade of resistance i mean it's going again it's going again and if you look left i don't think there's too much left here you know what i mean let's see like bitcoin and eth is going again i see eth guys i see eth don't worry i see eth I see it, bro. 327 will probably be the, the, the big target for engine if that level breaks. I see ETH. Seven ten for ETH. Here we go. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. Let me see all the pickles in the chat, boys. All the chickles in the pack, girls. Girls and boys. All the pickles in the chat. Let's get those pickles. Let's get those pickles. <laughs> it must be the ETH hat. I don't know. ETH was popping before I put the ETH hat on, but... ETH that is a pretty good effect on it, I guess. Uh, and we know for ETH, guys, if we zoom out a little bit, we know for ETH, it's just one giant black ball, it looks like. Um, and this would give us a target of, let's see, if this can continue to break out, we need Bitcoin to continue up, obviously, but that's going to put us over five grand. 
going to put us somewhere up towards 5,190, you know, as potential breakout. So we need Bitcoin to, to continue here. But if it does, ETH is looking juicy. ETH is looking juicy. <laughs> you know, we got four minutes into the one hour close, guys. So here's what I think is going to happen here. So Bitcoin is going to close this candle red. Okay. This is what we said in, in a couple, you know, a little while ago. Bitcoin, I think, is going to close this candle red. This is going to count as the back test. This is going to count as the back test of resistance. And we might continue up on this new hourly candle. Not going to say it's guaranteed. So don't put it, uh, don't put it 100x long. Okay. <laughs> That's just my theory. And if, if we actually close this candle green, it's actually going to be a nice bullish hammer candle on the hourly, uh, which could certainly push us up higher here. So either way, I mean, either way, it was a nice back test. So three minutes until the hourly close. ETH is continuing up here. ETH! <laughs> ETH, baby. Give it to me, 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 baby. Forty-seven sixteen. Uh, two minutes into the close, guys. Two minutes into the close, boy. The boys. Bitcoin sixty-five nine thirty. Let me zoom in a little bit more on ETH for you. There we go. Forty-seven sixteen. Bitcoin looking like it's gonna have a bullish hourly close. Bullish, bullish, bullish hourly close. Really, really bullish hourly close, actually. Like, super nice. Super, super nice. What's up, Bradley? Can we get some TI and XPR, not XRP? <laughs> I, got, I got you, Bradley. Uh, for sure, man. Let's, uh, real quick, let's go look at XRP, not XRP, XPR. XPR Proton. Um, yeah, so, so we know this one broke out. It looks like you're getting the, the back test. That's what it looks like here. You can see you broke this downtrend of resistance, more so on the on the daily, but you more so. They see the downtrend of resistance broken here, and on the four, I'm just looking at the four hour for ease of the eyes. Um, previous, all this previous resistance is being flipped into new support. If this can hold, if this can hold, not XRP. If this can hold. If, if this breaks, maybe come back down and test the trend line and then continue up. But um, I'm liking the setup you're getting right now. I'm liking the setup. And if you look at the hourly, let's see the hourly here. Eh, hourly is not really telling you too much. Actually, just draw some trend lines here. Hourly. Eventually be making some type of wedge, but um, I, I think ultimately this area makes a lot of sense for a bounce. I'm gonna guess it's probably the yeah, it's the golden pocket zone too. Boom, man, that's perfect. So yeah, that's perfect. Hourly stock's been bottomed out for a while, right off the six one eight, uh, right off previous resistance. I could see this moving back up and retesting the highs at four point three cents. Proton looks good. Proton looks really good. All right, ETH is up again, guys. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. All right. 
And Bitcoin with the bullish hourly close, man. Look at that bullish hourly close. Back test, bullish hammer candle on the hourly. Let's see if uh let's see if this can continue up, man. I don't think Bitcoin on the hourly has room to run still. Still has room to run. If it wants to. What's up, Mark? Uh, thank you, appreciate that, man. Rami said, can you check out Seawar? I can definitely check out Seawar for you, uh, Rami. Seawar. What's going on with Seawar? Whoa, what is this? What the heck am I looking at? That's an exit arm stable coin. That's an exit arm stable what coin. What the heck am I looking at, man? What is this? What is this? What is this? What am I looking at? XLM? Um, yeah, man, I, mean, I can't really do too much with this. It, it's only on the hourly. I, it, it's, it's, it's not enough data at all to give you any type of analysis on this. Um, for the most part, you're going sideways. Right, I mean, boom and boom. I mean, you're stuck between a range between 223 and 178. That's, uh, I mean, I can't really do much. I can't really do too much with this, you know? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. And I'm definitely not going lower than the hourly on any type of altcoin. Definitely not. Take it off. <laughs> said AF. AF said take it off. <laughs> we're like, we're done with this. We're done with this, bro. What's up, hard drama? Thanks, man. Appreciate that, dude. I actually, uh, where did I go? I went to Mohegan on Saturday. I, I went to Mohegan on Saturday. That's where I went on Saturday, guys. <laughs> I went to Mohegan. And Foxwoods. I do want to go to Foxwoods soon, for sure. For sure. Um, what else do we got here? We had Seawar and Mark. What's up, Mark? I think Mark's messing up there. I appreciate that, Mark, though. <laughs> I love you're messing up, bro, but this one's for Foxwoods. That's crazy, bro. All right. ETH is chilling. Bitcoin is chilling. Uh, but Bitcoin's looking good in the daily, man. Look at the setup on the daily, guys. I mean, that's exactly what we want to see. I mean, symmetrical triangle, breakout, back test, also back test of the 20 EMA and continuation up. You can't ask for a better setup than that. I just could convince that we weren't going that much lower. Even if we did go lower, I didn't think we were going to get that go that much lower. So, um, I don't know. So far, so good. But we have some work to do, obviously. We're not in the woods yet, but not too shabby not too shabby of a move up here uh for bitcoin so far so far um what's up super doge thanks for hanging out man that chart made me sad it's called a dump and pump called a dump and pump huh a dump and pump all right what time is it 905 it's 905 boys 905. Um, we're kind of just waiting on Bitcoin to do something, but here's the thing, guys. Like, what do we think? Do we, th guys, do we think Bitcoin's going to pump in the next 20 minutes? Let me know in the chat. Do you think Bitcoin is going to pump again in the next 20 minutes? Yes or no? Yes or no in the chat. If we t say yes, I'm going to stay on. If not, then maybe not. Um, anything else? Nothing else is really moving right now. Soul's kind of in that same spot. Soul's gonna break 241, guys. Soul breaks 241. Probably retesting the golden pocket, like we said, at like 246-ish. Uh, but nothing's really nothing else is really moving, guys. You know? Nothing else is really moving. No. Bitcoin is dumping is dumping coin. Bootney said yes. Yes. Booney said yes. Rich said no. 
I think it did its show today. I don't know, man. I'm seeing a lot of yeses, but I'm also seeing a lot of noes. And when I see noes, that makes me bullish. <laughs> that makes me bullish when I see a lot of noes. I think we're going up. Strap up. We're going to the moon. Rant alert. Rant alert. Rant alert. I think we're going up because everyone is bearish. Bearish. We got a bunch of savvies in the chat. Even Bear is a sav is savvy right now. Even Bear. Even Dale. It's not it's not the Dale that we that we usually know. It's Dale Dean. Dale Dean. <laughs> this dude's name is Dale Dean, bro. <laughs> That's a funny name. Dale Dean. Dale Dean. That, that, that's, that's probably the most generic name I've ever heard. Dale. Uh, uh, Dale. I'm not looking funny, man. That That's just like, that's a, Dale Dean. Like that just flows off the tongue so good. Perfect. Even Rich said no. Even Rich said no. Makes me bullish. Uh, 64,930. Bring out the pomp. Bring out the pomp. <laughs> Dale disappeared recently. He did. I don't know where Dale went, man. I don't know where Dale went. I hope he's doing okay. I, I thought he was bullish. I don't. It's probably not. He, he didn't probably get liquidated or anything because I thought he was bullish. You know what I mean? There's a lot of old bears. Like guys, do you remember any of the old bears that used to be in the chat? Who's some of the old bears that used to be in the chat? We used to have Dale. Uh, Sergio is a fake bear. I know Sergio is a fake bear. Um. It always pumps when you get off, said Drew. Absolutely, man. Think about them beams. Who else is who else is some bears? Um, crap, bro. Maryas is a bear. Does my username roll off the tongue? Pet Brett. It does. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> Jack's Jimmy Team stepdad. Is it really? <laughs> who the heck is Dale Dean? <laughs> He was a bull for a while. Dale went into hiding. He was a bull. He was a bull. So I don't, I don't think he got liquidated. You know what I mean? I don't think he did. Uh, CH is a fake bear. Yeah, CH is... Everyone's a, everyone's a fake bear. CH is a fake bear. Sergio is a fake bear. I think even Dale was a fake bear the whole time, to be honest. At least I hope so. Hex Hoddle is a... I think Hex Hoddle was a, was a bear for everything else. And then he was a bull for... Hex. Oh, how is Hex looking, bro? How is Hex looking right now? Um, I'm curious. No one ever asks about Hex anymore. 24. Oh, it retraced. It retraced a little bit. All right, all right. I mean, it retraced a little bit. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I mean, it, it probably was just a bearish retrace. Yeah, you retraced right to the point... <laughs> You retraced right to the point three eight two, and all you did here for a hex is you flipped the previous, the previous support just flipped into new resistance, <laughs> which is not definitely not what you want to do there. Um, not great. It's not great. Um, now obviously you can come back down and roll back up and come back above it, but um, yeah, I mean hex is hex, bro. Hex is hex. Man, rest in peace, Hex. I remember everyone, all the Hex people were getting so cocky for a little bit, man. Which is fine. I mean, it, it was it was moving up very very well, like for a long time. So I don't I don't blame them, but the Hex people were getting cocky, 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 man. Ethereum, yeah, ETH, ETH broke out. ETH broke out. ETH might ETH might back test as well before continuing up. Depends on what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin settles down here, or if Bitcoin continues up, ETH is going to go up too. That, that's what we've seen today so far. Um, it is what it is. Hex is going to zero. I don't know. If, I don't think Hex is going to zero, guys. I don't know about that. Can you look at Bitcoin on the on the Bitcoin on the two week RSI? Sure. The Bitcoin two week RSI. It's kind of random, but hey, actually no, it's not. We used to look at that sometimes. Uh, two week uh, RSI. We used to look at the two week stock RSI. 
The two week looks juicy on Bitcoin, man. <laughs> the two week looks really juicy on Bitcoin. Um, all right, I'm gonna look at the two week RSI. Let's see. So what's up with this, man? What are we looking at? Are we trying to say there's some bearish div on this? I don't take bearish div on weeklies too into too much of account. Uh, I, I really don't because here's the thing. Like if you have massive pumps and you have retraces, it's going to take you a while to get back up to those levels. And you're going to have bearish divergence any way you look at it. You know what I mean? Like if you said that same thing back in say 2013, right? I mean, you would add bearish div like the whole way. <laughs> you would add bearish div Div the whole way up, you know what I mean, and you would have missed out on the whole run. I don't know if that's what you're trying to say. I don't. I don't think that means anything at all. But uh, I mean, we have a bunch of room to run, if that's what you mean. Uh, stock, two week stock RSI, not looking too shabby either. Not looking too shabby, if you ask me. All right, guys, I, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna call it a stream. Just because I want Bitcoin to pump and we know it's not going to pump until I get off. You know, we've had good luck in the beginning of the streams, but after it's been pretty crappy, right? It's been pretty crappy as far as end of stream. So I'm going to get off. Bitcoin's going to pump. I'll be hanging up, probably hanging out in the Discord for a little bit for sure tonight, uh, 9, 12. Uh, I'll be hanging out in the Discord for sure, for sure. So join the Discord if you guys want the link. Uh, link's down in the description. I'll also put it in the chat right here. Let me grab it in the chat. I'll put it in the chat a few times here as well. So you guys can join the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as always. Great stream. Some good pumpage. We're back on track, man. We're back at 66,000. Uh, we're back on track to continue up, in my personal opinion. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, that's what we've been talking about, man. I didn't think we were going to go that much lower. So... I'll catch you guys tomorrow, 7 o'clock. Peace out, guys. Uh, check out uh, all the links in the description, you know, all that fun stuff, you know, whether you want trading or charting or passive income, my Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff in the description down below. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Don't panic sell your crypto. And most of all, don't panic sell your crypto. Peace.